Welcome everyone to the Coast Spot. This is Alex, and we're going into Gillian's Wonderland Pier for the final three hours or so of the pier's existence. It is closing today at 6 p.m. forever. I love this old mural here. I didn't even know this existed. It's kind of what the front of it used to you look like, and but then like 20 or so years ago, they renovated the front to make it a little bit more modern. Added the turrets and everything, or the little roofs. Yeah. But, kind of a sad day, isn't it? Ariel's here? Yeah. Hi. We're back in Ocean City. One of my favorite uh, boardwalk towns in Oak, New Jersey, I would say. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. In Wildwood. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely not in No, see some heights up there, but yeah, it's kind of a sad day, but an exciting day, because like, we might try the pizza, because that is also closing, because that's owned by them as well. And, um, yeah, it's, it's it's nice and crowded, so that's the thing you want to see. It's I'm also actually... too nice for October. Yeah, what, it's, like, it's like 75. 75. The, the boardwalk is very crowded. We're also going to go over to Castaway Co because they are having wristbands tonight. Um, and our plan is to get one. If it is absolutely rammed and ridiculous, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but I think most people are here for... The boardwalk, it is kind of a holiday tomorrow. It's Columbus Day. Not a lot of people have off, but it's more of a holiday than normal days. It is busy in there. I love seeing that, though. And uh, we got a card with plenty of credits left. If they're even checking them, we're hearing they're not. So let's go inside for um, the last three hours of a place that's been here for, was it 94 years, they say? So let's go inside, yeah. Ready for the yeah, we're gonna do the monorail, carousel, dark ride, flume, and coaster. Uh, we're gonna skip the Ferris wheel. Yeah, yeah, it's busy, it's busy. Let's go. It is even more crowded than Labor Day weekend. That's when we were last year, right? Yeah, yeah, we have a full tour of the place. If you really want to see everything they had towards the last few months of the existence. And also we'll have a day in Ocean City video that we I haven't had the chance to edit. Coming out sometime this winter, but obviously you're seeing this one first because obviously you want to see what it's like for those final hours. It's great to see this place as busy it is. I love it. I, we're not here to ride. We're here just to take it all in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Seems like most of the rides that were closed a few weeks ago are still closed. So uh, nothing has been repaired, but it doesn't seem like anything's closed. Uh, this is actually really cool for me. I I mean, I wouldn't say cool, but fun to be part of the experience. I've never been to a... Wow, this is the Wacky Worm Mine. Let's go do that first, since we did not ride it last time. But as I was saying, uh, I've been part of a few ride closures and attraction closures, like on the last train of a few coasters, but never been to an entire park on its closing day. Closing year, maybe even closing week, but never the final day of a park. It's a weird atmosphere. Um, the park looks like it typically did. Uh, I've never had the best opinion of this place, especially in the last 10 years or so with the other park in town kind of really elevating the experience. But I have fond memories of here going back 25 years. I always remember the city jet that used to be here. So sad when that was removed quite a while ago now. That was such a fun coaster, the spiral lift hill, and just the seating, inline seating. It was so much fun, and uh, just a really fun coaster. Unfortunately, pretty much it was at the end of its service life. They tried to extend it by building new trains uh, the year before it closed, and then I guess the structure was just not something they wanted to maintain. They did have another roller coaster up until a few years ago, right behind the Ferris wheel. Uh, that got sold and moved to Canada and actually it's never opened. So that's interesting. And um, it just looks too busy for it to be closing. No, I, I get it. It would be the saddest thing to see it closing and no one showing up. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think it's a combination of people wanting to try it last for the last time. A lot of people are having memories over the time. Maybe not. I think people have positive memories of it over a very long period of time, not so recent. I don't think I'm the only one who doesn't share that opinion, but um, I feel like it still can be 
viable to operate. Um, the current ownership just was not in the position of wanting to continue that tradition any longer. And that's understandable. We still don't know the status, if it's actually gonna close for good, if someone's gonna buy it, um, or if it's just gonna turn into more condos, which is likely what will happen. Of course, there will probably be a boardwalk um, strip of new stores or whatnot, and who knows? We'll keep you updated on the channel as we find more things out. Um, but oh, we need to see Jumbo. Yeah, we got to see Jumbo riding Dumbo as we were leaving last time. That was really fun. And yeah, uh, I love their dark ride, so we're definitely gonna try that out again. And the log flume has to be done. The monorail, I'd like to do, but that line, ooh, that line was like an hour long. And uh, we probably should have gotten here earlier, but. You know, it, it is what it is. Again, just really wanted to take in the entire atmosphere of this place for the final few hours. There's Wonder Bear. Take a picture yeah. of Wonder Bear, dude. Oh my goodness. Hey, jump up, This is a new one. I've never seen a half dispatch and the guy reload at a person. It's half dispatch and, he, and one person was like, I want to ride by myself or maybe for kids. Oh yeah, she was getting out of her I've never seen that before. So that was interesting. Yeah. It's the last day, you know. I seriously have never seen a load after dispatch. That's funny. Ever. Anywhere. And here we go on our final roller coaster ride at Gillian's Wonderland here, the Wacky Worm. People showed up, the lines are ridiculous, but the capacity is also ridiculous. Uh, running, uh, I think, eight cabins out of the 30 probably something have. So this is the beginning of the Ferris wheel line. So we are definitely not doing that since we waited, what? We waited from like right there and it took an hour. So this is probably close to a two hour line. Yeah. Uh, we have video from that in our tour. Oh, there's Wonder Beer. Wonder Beer? I want a Wonder Beer. Wonder Bear, look at him. You wanna get a photo? Let's not get a photo. But that was fun. Let's get to the one. Remember when you were so excited about riding wacky rooms? Yeah, yeah. 
I was really hoping the wipeout was gonna be open, but no. I knew the the frisbee was definitely a heck no, but I was hoping maybe the wipeout could be open. So I love a wipeout, but nope. Uh, I think we want to try out the swings because this is a really old school model. And some of the swing heights are very different. Like, I feel like I should not ride that one right there. I feel like my feet will come off. Look how low that one is compared to all the other ones. Even the fun slide has a huge weight. We gotta do this dark ride again. That was fantastic. And we ultimately did not wait very long, even though we were pretty far back. So uh, we got to find the end of the log food line, which might be, a, might be a difficult thing just to actually find the end of the log food line. I'm very not worried about the weight for that though, because they are a constant loader there. Lines, lines everywhere. Where is our line? Where is the end of the log flume line? I don't know. I think it's over there. And the Moby Dick is uh, not going empty. It's just got a lot of broken seats. No, this isn't bad at all. We waited on. No, but the log not even that bad either because we waited in a pretty long line ourselves and it went through really quickly. All right, last ride ever on the Canyon Falls log flume at Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Closing day, about an hour and change away from it closing forever. Let's go. really comfortable. that is uh, holding on by the strings, one that has uh, been ch chosen to close for a reason. Oh my God, that boat is so wet. My feet are just soaked now. Yeah, we are taking on a lot of water. I am very wet now. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do with my feet. I'm, I'm going Indian style. So my feet are not. <laughs> Here we go. One final plunge, Ariel. One final plunge. Here we go. line for the swings. It's all the way down here and around the corner. Yeah, we're not doing the swings, I don't think. So, oh, that was worth it coming down here just for that again. That's such a good log flume. Yeah. It's sad though, there is definitely a lot of theming that's missing. Here's a small clip of what it was like a few weeks ago. Canyon mining. Oh, covering up one of the uh, motors. And you have all these cool gnomes. Kind of creepy. 
but it adds to the charm, I think. Really cool lighting in here. Yeah, what a change. The gnomes ran away. They ran away. They're like, screw this place. We, we done, son. Or they sold them off. So we're back to where we were, Ariel. That was, we just took a loop around the Teltora. So line to the right is Swings, line in the middle is Speedway, line on the left here is Dark Ride. And then Teltora, they go straight out from the entrance. So this might take a while. This is a good uh, 45 minutes at least. So um, yeah, hopefully we can get on the monorail. I think we might sit carousel. It's yeah. anywhere. more unique. I'm just excited about the carousel because it took me apparently 25 years to realize that there was a ring machine. Yeah, but I had no idea. And we have we we we, we might have we there might not have be any rings left if people were, were like we yeah, were. Possibly. Yeah, we might have taken a couple. By accident. Oh yeah, totally by accident. All right, our final ride on Dark Ride at Gillian's Wonderland Pier, Ocean City, New Jersey. Park is closing in about 50 minutes forever. Ooh, we're bouncing all over the place. Cheese. Cheese. I love that the air compressor that runs the ride is steaming. Yeah. Whoa, still rocking all over the place. There we go. Uh, spot in here. Ah! I've had enough clowns for the weekend. Oh, yeah. All right, we're ascending up into the front of the park for what will probably be our last time. But. Uh, here we go, get in line for the monorail. Check out the carousel first. Let's just go take a look at it first. I think we really just want to do the monorail again. Since... And we rode it for the first time together. Both of our first times, just a month ago. Yeah. And we're kicking ourselves for it being the first time. You love yourself a monorail. I do. It's very sad that it was the last one. And here is that beautiful PTC carousel. Little rocking tub there, or crazy bus submarine. So pretty. Where the line begins, I don't know. I think it just wraps around the carousel a few times. Yeah, it clear wraps around it once and then goes out the uh, the front. That's great, isn't it? Wraps around the carousel completely and then out to the boardwalk. Don't think we have time for that. Here's a better look. That line. An hour before we're closing here at Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Definitely is a vibe. It's kind of a happy, somber one, I feel like. You can tell everyone's getting their last rides and yeah. photos and everything. It's a definitely a different atmosphere. The adults will be, I feel like, more than the kids. Kids don't. 
care or no or it's the first experience yeah it's the first experience so yeah let's go see that monorail line hopefully it hasn't been shut off yet if not we'll do the carousel again we were able to do everything about a month ago so it was fun to be able to come out here and try it out yeah timing worked out nicely that we could actually be here tonight which is incredibly rare in October because usually our weekends are very busy. But, yep, that monorail line has not decreased at all. So I'm gonna get in line and you're gonna go get some pizza. You're gonna feed me. Thank you. Okay, first of all, this is too cute. The little boy and little girl were running the coffee cup while dad was gone. That's too cute. And we got the Sixth Street pizza. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Starting to close the doors to now allow any more people get into the line for the monorail at the very least. And possibly anybody into the park since most of the lines are probably over half an hour at this point. So more doors closing. When one door closes, another opens? Not a good one. Hopefully we run. Apparently they're being pushed and they're separated. Uh-oh. Sad we're not on that one. That would have been an experience and a half. What an event. I can't tell if it's under its own power right now or not. Maybe it's like a bond in the pool. You know, I was in Austria about two weeks ago and a ride that's closing at the end of the month there to do the seatbelts, the guy was standing in the middle of the track to do the seatbelts. I thought, never in America. This isn't much different. In New Jersey. At least there, the, the coaster wasn't going anywhere. Well, I never okay. thought I'd see this. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're getting them down. That's one way of doing it. I don't know how much OSHA would feel about this. He's got the one foot in, that one foot out method there. So, you know. It's like a balance beam. He's, he's it's kind of safe. It's pretty scary. How? Like this bad? It's not like. Imagine if you were on that one. Oh my god, it would be amazing. And they're filming it too. I love it. What's the news? Not here. The news is here. <laughs> Alright, we got trains rolling again. Do they sell the line? I don't know what's happening with the line. All I know is we're in line, so that's all that matters. It's officially 6 o'clock. This is so sad. Me too. Quite a while. Final ride.
ahead on the monorail here at Gilliam's Wonderland Pier. Most of the garage doors are already closed. That's the only one open. Nice breeze out to the shore. Ariel's gonna get a selfie of us while filming. And uh, look at the final minutes of Gillian's Pier. Look at that. Kid rides are already clear of passengers. It's a healthy line for the end of the carousel. There it is. People getting those final rides. We need to check out that animatronic van that we've never seen right below us. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we don't get stalled like earlier. Although that would be a very memorable experience if we did. There we go. Queue lines are dissipating. You can see a staff at the end of some of these lines. That is the end of the line. I imagine the log flume is going to be clear pretty quickly as it has gotten cold. Sun setting. Frisbee, unfortunately, has been closed for quite a while now. The log flume is taking its final rides. Moby Dick. Seems like that might have been its final ride ever. Giant Ferris wheel, 150 feet tall. There's that log flume. Fantastic dark ride. Wrapping up. Final moments here at Gillian's One Lamp here after 94 years of operation. Wonder Bear. Wonder Bear taking his final photos. I think the Ferris wheel will be one of the last ones to welcome riders. There's the last few riders on the Wacky Worm. The remaining roller coaster here at Gillian's. And we're taking our final turn back inside. beautiful Ocean City, New Jersey. And that's it. Our final ride ever here on our attraction at Wonderland Pier. I will get off and wrap it up and show you the atmosphere a little bit more before we head over to the other park. If you're wondering why there are band organs, they're doing a send-off to the animatronic show up there. That's, that's pretty amazing. Wow. I like the music parts, but that's some dedication to an animatronic show. I kind of love that. The fun is definitely not starting here anymore. All right, I think we'll take one last loop around and say some of my final thoughts about the closing. I, I, I yeah, we'll see that too. I want to be somewhat transparent here in saying that it's very sad to see any amusement park closed because it's a place of fun. It's a place of memories. It's a place to have a good time. But unfortunately, this place has been neglected. And uh, I don't think it had to be this way. I think this Ocean City could have supported two amusement parks for a long time to come. And it's a shame that this is how it has to come and possibly just turned into more condos and all that stuff. So uh, it's bittersweet in a way, kind of, right? It's castaway might go. Or they don't have any competition. Or it's gonna be way busier. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go take a look at that animatronic band over there. Oh, 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 o
Yeah. Oh, you have little monkeys. That's cute. Sorry, monkeys. Just a dime now. Yes, I don't have five dollars. I'm sorry. Or a dollar to uh, make you go. Yes. The pier is definitely clearing out. There's Wonder Beer. Uh, it's Jumbo. I said Jumbo didn't come out. We saw Jumbo a few weeks ago. I'm glad we saw Wonder today. But I think that's going to be the last monorail that we see. We're not going to stick around to the final end. That would be forever. That would be forever. And, uh, yeah. We'll check on it when we leave, uh, yeah. Us. Yeah, we'll show you the closed doors the empty park in a few hours. But we're going to go over and check out Holy Land's Castaway Cove since they have a wristband today, so that's kind of fun. Hopefully it's not too busy. I think all the crowds are over here. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that bad over there. Anyways, uh, we'll wrap it up tonight in a few hours after it's completely closed and show you the, the gates closed for the final time. Didn't it just say, like, we hope you enjoy it for many years to come? I think they just paid the, like, stock thing. That's funny. <laughs> Alright. Final time. I mean, I'm not that, so I don't come here often, so, like, I'm not that emotional. I am. It's a closed the news park. Oh, look, the, all this, the uh, things aren't rotating anymore. And a little bit after nine o'clock, here is Gillian's Wonderland Pier. Why is it so little? All closed up, never to be opened again. I don't know if Tea Time Golf will open again too. I feel like that's part of them. But if it isn't, we have to do that because it's five dollar mini golf. But anyways, it's nice to see it one last time. Love the dragon. Love the facade that they redid about 20 years ago, as I mentioned. And uh, I love the memories. Unfortunately, do not love what this place was in the most recent of years. But hopefully, by some miracle, it can stay in Amusement Park and be reincarnated to something amazing. Do you think it's going to start getting torn down and look sweet? We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yep. Uh, anything I find out, I'll probably post on social medias, uh, repost pictures and everything. So be sure to hit the Coaster Spot on Instagram, Coaster Spotting on, it, on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. And uh, by the way, that pizza was phenomenal. New Jersey pizza is phenomenal. It was Welcome very good. New Jersey, Alex. Yeah, it was phenomenal.